Hello everyone! Today I'm excited to share another simple and easy recipe tomato and beef over rice. With the thinly sliced beef, a variety of mushrooms, any type of tomatoes, and a handful of spinach leaves, you can create a light, satisfying, and nutritious meal in just 15 minutes. This tomato and beef over rice recipe it is not only quick to make, but also packed with the nutritious ingredients like lean beef, vegetables, and spinach. It is a versatile dish that can be customized to your taste by adding extra vegetables or adjusting the seasoning. The choice of a beef, you can use cuts like a flank steak or sirloin for tender results. Or if you prefer convenience like myself, just purchase thinly sliced beef for hot pot that you only need to cook for a couple minutes to ensure its tenderness. Make it perfect for this dish. First step, we'll need to mince some scallions. I used two whole scallions today. You can add more if you like more scallion flavor. I'll use a six to eight garlic cloves and mince them finely as well. This powerful little grinder has become working horse in my kitchen. I think everyone should have one in the kitchen. It really helps so much. I have attached the link in the description if you're interested. Thai chili is optional. If you like myself, prefer a little kick, adding one or two Thai chilies in this dish will definitely make you happy. The choice of tomatoes, you can use any type of tomatoes you have on hand, such as a heirloom on the vine, Roma tomatoes. Just simply dice tomato into chunks. Here's all the ingredients we need for this dish. Diced chunk tomatoes minced garlic, thinly sliced beef for shabu shabu or hot pot. You may get this kind of beef from any Asian store. I'm using some enoki mushroom today. You're more than welcome to use any type of mushroom you like. And also some spinach and minced scallions. First step, let's blanch thinly sliced beef. With enough water in the pot, adding one tablespoon Shaoxing cooking wine, we only need to quickly blanch meat for 10 seconds. By blanching thinly sliced beef for a short duration, you will ensure that it's both clean and tender. This step enhances the overall quality and the taste of the dish. Now that the beef is clean, then let's add two tablespoon oil in the pan, add minced garlic, Give a couple of seconds until garlic turns to brown, then add diced tomatoes. And toss around about two minutes on medium heat. Then we're going to add some salt and pepper. Also add one tablespoon of oyster sauce. And toss around, combine everything together on medium heat, then we'll cover up, let it cook for two minutes. Until tomatoes release their juices and start to soften. After two minutes, Add a quarter cup of water. If you like this dish it has more juice, then add half cup of water. Give a few tosses and stir all ingredients together. Combine them well together. Then I'll add a spinach stems first. Cook for a couple seconds, then I'll add a spinach leaves in. But if you're using all leaves, you can just add all spinach leaves in at this time. Once the spinach leaves goes in, stir for a couple of seconds, then add all the beef slices in. Well combine sliced beef, spinach, and tomatoes together for about one minute. After one minute, add in the enoki mushrooms and toss them around for another minute. Then we'll turn off the stove, cover the pan with a lid, and let it simmer with the remaining heat for an additional minute before serving. Since the ingredients used in this dish don't require long cooking times, the entire process is fast and easy. It makes this dish 
a perfect choice for days when you need a quick fix without compromising on flavor and nutrition. It is indeed a delightful and nourishing option for your body. Pair this yummy dish with either steamed brown rice or white rice, garnish with minced scallions and some toasted sesame seeds on top of the rice. Just take a look at the vibrant colors, are truly captivating and incredibly inviting. The best part, the aroma is absolutely mouthwatering. I cannot wait for first bite. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Until next time, bon appetit.